Good afternoon, evening, morning. It is the, see, I looked at my watch and I forgot again. Uh, it is the <laughs> November 18th DevSync for Mycroft AI on the eve of the lunar blood moon eclipse that's going on in, uh, in, the, in the States and some other places, if you don't mind being up at three o'clock in the morning. Hello, everybody. Derek. What's going on? All right. Well, uh, as I alluded to yesterday, continuing my CAD journey and getting the Mark II ready for um, DFM and production uh, with the new orientation of the, the ports out the back. Uh, so yesterday I was working my way through the audio chamber and um, mostly done with that and starting to tackle um, some things on the the body the main kind of solid part of it detail wise so got the ports cut all out and all that good stuff and then um got some work to do on how the audio chamber mounts into it uh as that's changed slightly um still using those soft grommets to, to basically um, dampen it from dampen the audio chamber from the rest of the housing to prevent vibrations up to the mic. Um, but because we've switched the orientation of how it assembles, uh, Chris, if you remember, we assembled the back last. Mm -hmm. Well, now you're going to assemble the front last. And so that changes how, um, how the things screw. So, that body itself, the back is now going to be part of it. So it's going to simplify the parts. And, um, so yeah, so the tricky part then is to get it assembled from the front. So that's what I've been working on. <laughs> Very good. And that's it for me. And I'll probably continue uh, on that journey tomorrow, although I got a couple of marketing tasks uh, that I need to address tomorrow. All right, moving to the upper left corner of my screen, Mr. Smith. Yeah, so I've been working on the uh, startup sequence Wi-Fi detect uh, with Panacore, uh, and it appears they agree with me that there's indeed a bug in the AW Connect container, so they are addressing that issue. However, uh, I am working on a solution that will work just in case they don't get their bug fixed in the near future. So uh, that's what I've been working on and we'll continue to work on and hopefully we'll have done by tomorrow. Very good, Mr. Gesling with the fresh new clothes. Um, yes, I'm getting my house in order was what we were discussing just before the recording started. Um, I, uh, uh caught a bug um well i caught half a bug and then aditya um uh, also noticed another part of it which i i hadn't realized um so we we fixed that up um there's a pr in core um that needs needs review and approval so we can merge it in um basically it was the when we updated the websocket client um uh updated so there's a new api for the websocket client um very slight modification um and uh, uh but changed the signatures of some of the some of the functions to to accommodate that but the the gui bus actually uses a different um it doesn't use the websocket client for the bus it, it has its own um tornado uh and q websocket or something um, connection on the on the GUI side, uh, so the change signatures broke that, <laughs> um, but only in only in very certain circumstances, um, like when the when the GUI was closing, it wouldn't it wouldn't shut down cleanly, and um, and for touch events uh, where messages were coming back from from the GUI, um, so that's why we didn't notice it super quickly um, because. Uh, that code's not on the Mark II yet, um, so we wouldn't have picked it up there. And um, and 
yeah, I, I don't do a lot of touching the screen on the on on desktop. So <laughs> um anyway, you so that's to touch things attached uh, to your desktop. Well you can you can also just like click or like okay. um you know remotes and, and that sort of stuff, things that big screen do. So um yeah, so I can see how they, they picked it up. Um anyway, so pretty small change um in the end, but took a bit of digging into understanding why it was, you know, happening and, and what the real root cause was and all that sort of stuff. Um, I also did some work on the, the V2, um, more from alpha API, um, through Selene. Um, I'm been having some trouble there. So I was hoping to catch you, Chris, and see if we can, work out what's going on. Um, uh, and, uh, yeah, community, general community stuff. Um, oh, I also pushed the V21.2.1 to the Mark twos. So that will update today, um, or tonight in your time zones. Uh, and that'll come out, yeah. So by morning, you'll you should see a, a new update if you're running latest, and just be aware that like the the configuration um, locations uh, are a little bit moved. So, hmm. So that's just stuff that's in, that was in Dev but not in the Mark II branch, right? Yes, it's actually. Um, up to current master so i haven't i haven't gone the full dev i thought since we weren't even at the at the latest point release that i, I thought we should, we'd get there and you know verify that's all working correctly and then um and then uh yeah push rebase off the latest dev um so i've been using it for the last week and i haven't i haven't hit anything but you know it's so easy for one person to to not find something because they're just not using the different pathways that different people use so um yeah just wanted to get it into everyone's hands um before we push forward further awesome cool that leaves me um so today i spent a little bit of time applying a couple changes to the spec for the um service initialization stuff I've been working on uh, based on some comments from Michael. Um, I think we're at a good place. So if Michael and you know, anybody else wants to take a second look at that, there's just been some tweaks. Um, I've also specced out how I'm planning to change the, uh, the skill service bring up sequence. Um, Basically, I, I listed everything that it does, um, the issues with how it does, why it does what, things the way it does, and how I'm going to change it around. Most of it has to do with you know the, the assumption of no internet connectivity, and um, and moving some of the things that really don't belong in a skills startup, <laughs> um, and, and probably the, mostly the how. Um, so that spec is out there and ready for. Uh, review. It's right underneath the uh, yeah, the stuff um, that you guys read the other day. So if you want to take a look at that too, that would be awesome. Um, and um, I've been in the code as well, um, trying to break my assumptions about um, things that I've written in the, in the document. So Um, I'll cut that from the video, but, uh, <laughs> is, um, is that spec something we can share out as well? Cause I feel like it could be good to. I want to share it out because yeah, that's, that's part of what, what we've been trying to talk about, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is information. Um, so it's part of that whole Mark two boot sequence document. Um, we started in Hawaii, so I don't know if it's worth separating those things out or just getting that document to a point where it's clean enough, it, it's shareable. Um, so, 
to to the extent that it's a uh, it's a discrete chunk of work, um, I, I think it's worth just cut and pasting it into a, its own document and link it from the other one. So you know we retain you know coherence. We don't start duplicating work and stuff. But. Okay, uh, we'll probably do that then because the as long as Michael, if you take another look at the um, service initialization section, um, let me know if that's kind of meets what we were talking about, then um, yeah, I'll go ahead and share that part. And we can, I can write mini specs as I go, <laughs> little pieces that we ingest instead of one big piece, maybe that would be better anyway. <laughs> so greetings, Michael, we've all given our status updates. How's it going? Cool. Um, it's going fine, it's going fine. I had, a, I had a whole morning off to just sit down and crank out some work and it just evaporated. And, uh, <laughs> I, I got no what I consider work done, which is looking at the technology and the the code and the and the uh, the to dos and stuff. You know, um, yeah, it was all just administrative. So, um, yeah, so that's me. Awesome. Since we have Michael today, do we want to anything we need to talk about? And it's only got it's not even it's like 4 45. good job gentlemen yeah i joined late so i haven't had a chance to derail the meeting but here i go watch this uh, <laughs> so i was in jira i woke i woke up at five this morning and i had some ideas uh and so i've created a whole bunch of tickets uh actually no i just created one ticket it's got a whole bunch of line items that need to be turned into other tickets relating to logs and the reason that this is important uh, it's not necessarily urgent uh, uh, at this moment, but it's it is important. Uh, it's because it ties in with um, the activity uh, system and having a coherent view of the basically the state of the Mycroft system as a whole at any given point in time. And um, so the concept is that I want to start to transition from log files, you know, which are useful as far as they go, um, and will probably continue to be useful in some way going forward, uh, into something that's more like a, um, a, a state monitor, something that's keeping track of all of the stuff that's happening in the system. So a first pass at that would be uh, once we get the, uh, well, actually, maybe we, it doesn't matter the order. The first pass of that would be a system that listens to the message bus and just records a list of all the things that have started and then ended and just has an active list of all the ongoing activities, right? Um, Sounds like so, a supervisor service in a way. It, it could be, I mean, it's maybe maybe a supervisor, but it's more of a the start of, uh, it's, it's, the, it's the tiniest little seed of a system which will eventually, uh, could eventually be um, something that is aware of the history and the context of what has happened in the system and can start to reason about, oh, well, the person said this and they said that other thing five minutes ago, so they're probably related, you know, and start to build in, you know, um, the the ability to actually have that data around to to make decisions about. Um, obviously, that's a little bit down the road, but I think it's be a super useful tool, even in its most basic incarnation, just for debugging purposes of knowing what's happening right now what skill got triggered, what was the intent that triggered it, what were the cascading list of things that happened, you know, because of that. Um, and you can and see how skills are interacting and, yeah. and all that. So, um, so I think that that would be a really useful tool, uh, you know, even in a, a very primitive uh, implementation um, and would probably give us a lot of what we're looking for when we're like crawling through the log files, trying to figure out, okay, well, what's the state at which this thing went bonkers, you know? Um, so anyway, so uh, you know, got a wild hair this morning and wrote a bunch about that and started throwing things into an epic about log files. Um, so then the other thought I had was um, uh, thinking about, um, you know, <laughs> I, I think I think it was Gez who who pointed out that you know we're using Jira in a way that it's not intended to be used. We're not really doing um, uh, we're not really doing agile development per se, right? Um, and so I've been thinking more about the idea of uh, assigning uh, things to epics 
uh, whether they be tasks or bugs or whatever. Not actually sure about bugs, definitely tasks though. Um, and uh, assigning those to epics and then just having a sprint be a defined period of time. So rather than it being however long it takes to get all the stuff done, you know, it's just two weeks. And we try to get better at estimating how much time we're going to spend on things. So that one, you know, my, uh, my thoughts are one about creating a sense of urgency about some of these things and, and, and focus on, you know, maybe smaller bites of tasks. Um, and, um, uh, and also start to develop as we're going to be bringing on more people, um, a way of, of, of measuring our pace so that we can start to estimate how long it's going to take us to do things in the future. Not so much to be like cracking the whip and saying, do it faster, but just like, you know, we can make a wild ass guess about it's going to take us, you know, a month to fix this feature or re-implement this thing. But, you know, if it takes us three, we currently don't really have a way of tracking that, you know? So um, just a couple of thoughts. Um, so I look like a thumbs up from Ken. I don't know. Yeah, cool. All right. The one from Gez too. All right. Uh, yay. Okay. Well then, uh, uh, yet one more thing to do. Um, <laughs> so, um, I was actually thinking, uh, this is some food for thought, uh, that the log file uh, epic um, might be a good thing to assign to our, our uh, incoming employee because it touches everything. Because like one of the first tasks is implement the started ended messages around every activity, right? So we'll end up touching every part of the code, right? Um, and uh, and then just having a routine, sort of the, the, uh, the thing that gathers all of the status together would be, uh, you know, a pretty straightforward uh, thing to build. But then having a way to communicate that out in a useful way, like maybe either through a skill or something like that would then be another way to familiarize him with the system as a whole. You know, so because um, it would touch all the parts, it would touch the GUI, it would touch the, you know, the skill system and um, interactions and stuff. So, just a just a thought. Uh, I thought I'd you know, uh, put out there with the team. So you can think about that. We've got some time. Um, I, hey, while you've been talking, which you've been clearly doing too much thinking, but um, <laughs> uh, I was also wondering um, where we're at with the uh, the skills interaction spec that we wanted to share out because it feels like it's it's basically done and just needs to to get pushed out is that yeah at, at, at the very least the um yeah the part that, that chris has uh, has taken a, a crack at right the, yeah yeah um, that's what i meant the, the split out part yeah 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 that part for sure um and uh, i think that'd be a good thing to get out i mean just do it now right um yeah. and uh, and get some feedback and that'll give people some time to wrap their head around that concept and give some feedback on that. And then we can, you know, further that discussion with different ideas about, you know, the, whether it's my harebrained scheme about handling at a low level or Ken's harebrained scheme about handling at the high level, you know, we can at least throw out some different proposals there. Um, but, um, uh, but yeah, I think that that system on its own is going to be useful. So. Yeah, yeah and it. probably good to share that first because some of the ideas from that document trickle into the startup sequence stuff that yeah. you've been talking about. So, okay, yeah. Um, so what is so I, I will I'm happy to do that. Um, I'll take one last pass at it, make sure there's nothing stupid in there. Um, what uh, is that? Just a, a sharing in the dev channel or in general? What's, what's I reckon. Like I reckon it might be good to put it in the forums um, because that just gives us a you know a a single thread that you know we can go back and reference and stuff and then point people to that forum thread from chat and different places okay so, so just a quick forum post that includes a link to the document kind of thing yeah i'd try and do a like a brief intro as to like you know that you might even grab i can't remember what the what the intro of the document is but you know yeah often whatever the intro there is you can copy and paste that um to give the context of what you're talking about um and yeah what what do you want people to do with that you know um 
trying to Can make we link the... forum posts to each other because like for like i said this the, the boot up sequence stuff kind of follows on from that like you know we could want to like, yeah absolutely to yeah as well okay yeah awesome anytime you provide a link anytime you put a link to a to a forum post or a or a um or a forum thread uh it'll create this you know large rich tech uh, rich preview of it so um yeah it's good like that awesome all right i'll, I'll do some sharing then awesome <laughs> Well, I don't have any um, additional more work for you uh, that I've thought of in the last day. So, uh, so we're almost right. done then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, basically. Uh, it's uh, still in the 825. That wasn't nearly derailing enough for... <laughs> well, uh, I guess it's just a good day. Sometimes you get lucky. <laughs>